Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I don't get it. I don't get it, and I don't think I will ever get it. What is going on in the community? We have Dr. Disrespect. He's coming back right now. And Moist Critical, on the other hand, he's getting a lot of backlash because he did say uh, it's perfectly fine for kids to cut their PP. Like the video if you think that's not okay. Dislike the video if you think it's perfectly fine for kids to cut their PP. That happened. We had the Eva Chris Tyson situation. There were some allegations that uh, going towards Mr. Beast, but overall, you know, we didn't have that much drama. Then leaks started flooding in, and people started uh, started accusing Mr. Beast. So the drama was snowballing. But guess what? Then this gentleman came out, made a video, and, and basically saying that Mr. Beast scams his audience fake giveaways or not necessarily fake giveaways but like he makes it so you have to pay him so that's when he's gonna do giveaways so scamming his viewers uh doing fake and not necessarily fake giveaways but but you're gonna get the point in just a little bit so that happened and his video is hitting almost 7 million views and, and the craziest part here is that this guy is an ex mr beast employee who made a brand new youtube channel made like a 54 minute long video going crazy at mr beast providing evidence and uh, using his videos mr beast videos to make points and all that and, and i gotta be honest though the points seem very rational very genuine and a lot of people right now are absolutely going crazy and you know talking about this mr beast drama and this and that but you know what happened just recently of course i got a video for you guys but you know what happened just now former mr beast employee so this guy who, who made a video whose video is almost getting like 7 million views easily gonna hit 10 million maybe even 20 million views in the long run maybe even more than 20 million views if the video stays on youtube right former mr beast employee who tried to expose mr beast hit with cease and desist allegedly just days after another employee debunked him oh, shit. Oh. because there's another employee jake the viking i believe right he quit uh he was fired from mr beast and he's like really thankful that he got fired right uh and, and he says that yeah bro mr beast knew about like chris tyson being a pdf file uh going after the kids and all that right that's what one of the ex mr beast employee said then this employee came out getting hit with a cease and desist those of you that do not know what this means this means that mr beast don't want him to talk about him which is uh, a little crazy when you think about it looks like that this is the same cover-up as men in black you know men in black would show up whenever a ufo sighting would happen or aliens would land or something like that that's like the conspiracy so right now a lot of conspiracy is going crazy mr beast is trying to silence him mr beast needs to be held accountable slim jimmy definitely knew the whole time so everybody's going crazy at mr beast right now and shout out to the homie upper echelon he made this video check this out roll it all right, spontaneous video this time, less preparation, because this right here needs to get roasted. For anyone who doesn't know, a video came out somewhat recently from someone who claims to be a former employee of Mr. Beast, and that video contains about 53 minutes of content. Too long, didn't watch, that's totally fine. Yeah. Because I did my own summary breakdown, which I'll link down below in the description. Yeah, this is that video. So this guy apparently made a video on a brand new channel, hit 82,000 subs, and by this time it was 4.3 million. Right now it's getting closer to 7 million, right? Uh, and he got hit by cease and desist, the cease and desist by, uh, by Mr. Beast. ...with legal examples and a full description about the more meaningful claims, again, linked down below. But since all that happened, another member of the Mr. Beast team has come out with a statement, and that Chucky. statement is absolute, irrefutable garbage. It fails to address <laughs> literally any of the important yeah. issues whatsoever in yet another example of how to irreversibly screw up your own public reputation, speedrun edition. Just to clarify, this is yet again not a video about Ava Chris Tyson. That's a whole yeah. separate problem. There's a lot of really intense issues coming out with regards to all that. And yeah, actual leaks came out where apparently Mr. Beast was uh, in a Discord with minors and he was uh, complimenting uh, Chris Tyson's dragon size. Bruh. That's why I always say, man, control your dragon, guys. Don't let your dragon go in the dark tunnels. Don't be chasing those dark tunnels, guys. Not good, man. Not good, not good. Don't chase a pom pom, man. Let the pom pom chase you instead. Uh, but once that, y you know what I mean, like, guys, don't chase a pom pom, man. The pom pom will blind you, man. It, it, it blinds you. It blinded Chris Tyson so badly that he wanted to have pom pom instead of uh, dragon. So yeah, don't do it, man. Don't do it. And inappropriate behavior, and Discord servers, and private messages, and Jimmy's involved, and the list goes on. But for me, the concept of running illegal lotteries, falsifying game show results, and breaking the law is a lot more immediately interesting when it comes to the world's largest YouTuber who is renowned across the planet for his incredible generosity, despite the fact that every single bit of it appears to be for personal gain, 
nothing more. Yeah. Anyway, a video came out from a Crazy former employee man. who claimed essentially three separate things. First, the game show videos are manipulated, directly impacting the integrity of the competition. Second, physical products, namely Feastables chocolate bars, are more akin to lottery tickets than actual merchandise, directly targeting children, which is a pretty severe ethical quagmire. And third, during his t-shirt signing live stream events, the team is frequently offering illegal lotteries, which are yeah. either not paid out properly or otherwise. Yeah, this is considered illegal as to what he's done. And I remember seeing this live stream back when it was going on and it's being figured out that whatever he was doing was illegal. And guess what? He has deleted those live streams. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, so that kind of... Uh, so that doesn't help Mr. Beast at all. You know what I mean? Because now a lot more people will believe, yeah, you were really, really scamming. Otherwise violate a bevy of rules and regulations regarding sweepstakes law. In essence, the method by which, methods plural, sorry, by which Mr. Beast has risen to fame and fortune is intrinsically predatory as it leverages child psychology for maximum profit. Pretty intense allegations if you ask me. Adding this in postscript because I just noticed, there was five hours of one of these live streams where they were doing all this stuff that was still up on Facebook. And mm. now, after mm. all of the news of this broke, they went and took that down too. So they, they are that. running around yeah. trying to pull every single clip of footage of the stuff that they did, including this one on Facebook. Uh, yeah, that probably says something, don't you think? Well, yeah. in my own video, I discussed a couple of those same examples, like rigging a competition between boys and girls by directly removing one of the more skilled players on the boys team in order to skew the results blatantly on camera. But before going back to some of the more hard hit- It's crazy. For context, if you don't know, so there was like a boys versus uh, girls uh, competition that was happening in a Mr. Beast video. And what we're now finding out that the girls were losing really, really badly. And Mr. Beast was like, okay, so we don't want it. We want this to be like culture appropriate. Uh, or what's the actual term? There's another term for it, right? Like we don't want to make the, the females look bad in this case. So he made it so like the, the, the females will lose, but not lose super badly in comparison to the, the boys team, right? He wanted to virtue signal, right? Like he wanted to be like... He didn't want it to catch flack for it uh, from his female audience or the the, the, the the woke cancel culture or whatnot, right? Like, so he made that. But doing that, he broke the... Not only the bro code, he broke the bro code, man. <laughs> not only that he broke the bro code, but he, essentially that's illegal to do because you're running a competition, although it's for a YouTube video, but you put money on the line. Had it been, it was just like a competition for... Once you win, you're gonna win nothing other than, hey, F yeah, you did it, right? If that was like just a participation <laughs> ribbon, then that's different, right? Then that's different. But he got money involved, and whenever you get money involved, and you're running a competition, and you got money involved, uh, and you rig a competition, it's considered illegal. So there's that, and that's what's being claimed by this uh, gentleman as well, ex-employee. Uh, he made a video, and guess what? He got a cease and desist. So I don't think he's gonna make any more videos now, uh, right? Unless he got the money to fight the case. And if he got the money to fight the case, and if he wins, which uh, seems very likely with the points that he made, bro, like, I would say he can win. He just need, like, a good lawyer. Mr. Beast, bro, even if he gets, like, Saul Goodman as a lawyer, bro, it's looking tough for Mr. Beast to win because of the, the stuff that he has exposed regarding Mr. Beast. But if he got the money, and, and if he gets, like, a decent enough law lawyer and they go to court, this man, this gentleman out here can win a lot of money from Mr. Beast's case, man. Hitting infractions here. I want to read and discuss a statement made by Chucky, who appears to be a high-level Mr. Beast team member, who has taken it upon himself to debunk these allegations with one of the worst responses you can possibly imagine. Normally, I just read bullet points or summarize, but for this one, I'm going to go point by point, one by one. Uh-oh. Quote, I quickly want to debunk some of the info in this video, since the guy who made it was on my team. It was my decision to fire him for erratic behavior. He worked at the company for less than a month and wasn't an employee for most of the videos he mentions to have knowledge on. There's so much in this video, and I want to specifically address him saying our videos are fake or staged because this is not true, and I was on set for many of those videos. End quote. Okay, all right, cool, man. Okay. Let's hear it. Quote, you won't get in a video unless you're family or friends with someone that works at Beast. This is a wild statement that can easily be proven wrong. There's probably hundreds or thousands of people who have no affiliation to friends slash family of Beast employees. Think the 456 people in Squid Game or ages 1 through 100, etc. Jimmy doesn't more than like a dozen people, LOL. And Bruh. response, sure. In Bruh. the grand scheme of his YouTube channel, Mr. Beast can certainly point to a multitude of examples where people that aren't directly on or affiliated with the production team were part of videos. There were other creators, yeah. there's verified instances where a few random fans were chosen for things or won very large sums of money. But here's an example of what that looks like. All right, two of us. 
Whoa, Sue. Are you sure you don't want the cheaper one? <laughs> I'm just messing. You got a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. He's rich, yeah. You have a million dollars. Oh my I... god, that yo, we just saw Chris from the past, man. Oh, shit. Oh. Holy crap. I don't believe this is real. It is. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, this is only a small percentage of what you have. I don't even know how I'm gonna spend it all. This is unreal. They gave this man <laughs> 24 hours to spend a million dollars. He did, while they cracked jokes about how rich he is and all this other stuff, but a few years later, he came out and said this. He did help me financially, but like giving me money for thing, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. That's why I'm trying to word it differently. But uh, he did give me funds, but I just wish instead of like just, cause it's okay to get funds, but to help me invest and to help me be able to be stable on my own without his money, you know? Uh, <laughs> Pump the brakes though. Uh, I agree with you. I agree with you, but at the same time, I will disagree though. Uh, no, I agree, and uh, he's making a solid point. I wish, even I would say, like, yeah, if he gave you the knowledge and all that, you would have made, uh, you would have kept that million. Uh, so it sounds to me that he got the money, one million dollars. Uh, I, I, I guess he spent that money, so it's not that he got it. He spent that money. He spent one million and got like the stuff with it. But he didn't keep the money, so he was still like broke after that. Is uh, what I'm getting from this. Now, to be honest, though, it's not Mr. Beast's job. As much as I uh, I hate to defend him right now, but like, it's true, man. Gotta be objective. Gotta be fair. It's not Mr. Beast's job to like, you know, baby you and teach you stuff like that. It, it, if he done that, oh, amazing, awesome. Okay, but uh, he was looking to make his video rather than to help you. You feel what I'm saying? He was looking to make his video where you would come on, spend a million dollars, and you would get the stuff, and he will get the video. Simple as that, right? You get the stuff, he makes a video, we both happy. It's kind of like that sort of situation. But of course, if he gave you the cash, I don't know if he gave him a little bit of the cash, I'm assuming he must have gave, given him a little bit of the cash. If he gave you the cash, that's good for you. Uh, but if he gave you the knowledge to where to invest and all that, that's even better, not denying that, but that's not his job though. Let's be real, man. So that's probably one thing I would do differently too. That was the, the best, best example I can give you is when uh, we had planted out the house and stuff. I literally have had an hour. He, he had somebody come to my house. And we sat down and we planned all this in an hour. Yeah, they came to my house and we planned this out in, yeah, in about an hour. So I wish I would have had time and I wish I would have did a couple things differently on the time, man. Oh, okay, no, on this one, yo, come on, Jimmy, at least give him a day or two, bro. Minimum, right? Like, damn, one hour, he would just hearing that, he would be jumping, though. He would be doing helicopters. He would be like, you know, oh my God, he would be firing dope me. Like, okay, first, I'm gonna get a million dollars and I'm gonna buy stuff. And I'm secondly gonna be in a Mr. Beast video. So he would be so, he would be flying high though. Yeah, like within that hour, I'm sure brother was so happy that he didn't even, he couldn't even think properly. Absolutely. He should have given like at least a day, like at least a night to sleep on this idea and wake up a changed man, a different man with more wisdom, with more knowledge. This is why, man, the elders always said to me, man, like, you know, don't make the decisions too fast. Never make decisions when you're happy. Never make decisions when you're angry. Sometimes we all do it, but it's good to sleep on uh, before you make a rash decision, if that makes sense, right? Like the video, if you get it, if you get it, you get it. If you get it, you get it. Side, which I guess I really couldn't help because I had to spend it. I had to spend the money and I had to like do all this. So. Yeah, I've, there's this I thing agree. called sudden wealth syndrome. It's a psychological phenomenon where people who don't typically have a lot of money suddenly acquire a very large amount of it mm. and then proceed to make impulsive, irrational, or self-detrimental decisions, leaving them as bad or worse off than they were before at the end yeah. of it all. A lot of people probably know of this because when someone wins the powerball or the lottery or whatever it is they oftentimes end up back to being broke within a short span of time because they're making yeah i heard a lot of stories like that where somebody would get like really really rich and uh, years after years after sometimes months later back to the same place sometimes even worse and be 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 in debt because they experienced such a high they went on a crazy spending spree but ultimately it was a liability not asset so the money they won didn't made them the money basically they uh bought liabilities with it and ultimately they got such a high from it that they kept spending and spending and spending they kept on spending even when they had no money and ultimately they went in debt which is even worse than uh having no money right because going in debt that's like negative that's like debt negative uh, for example like if you had a hundred dollars one of your friend got a hundred dollars in bank 
another man got zero dollars i would say that's better than your another friend that has that that is in debt with minus 100 dollars. you feel what i'm saying so yeah, it, it is crazy, man. It is crazy. ...really strange decisions because of sudden wealth syndrome. Mr. Beast gives out all this money, but he intentionally condensed the timeline for this winner to a point where he had zero hope of rational decision making. Mm. For the sake of pushing YouTube content, he completely destroyed any chance that this man had of having a truly responsible outcome, which would involve hiring a financial planner. Yeah, objectively speaking, though, like that man that you were trying to help I, I don't know what's uh in anyone's heart uh, you don't know what's in anyone's heart so maybe mr beast was also like okay i'm gonna make a video nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that but maybe he was like i'm gonna make a video and i'm gonna help a man out too right like he's helping me out like i'm yeah and i'm gonna help him out in a way like buy him stuff make his day up right but ultimately towards the end when that man uh got got all of this was in your video but ultimately towards the end he was dried up he was drained completely emotionally so it, he was left even worse than uh than before so i feel for the guy but i also do agree that it's not mr beast's job to teach him about investing but absolutely why not give him a day or two to think about it instead of like one hour setting up a retirement fund, investing in diversified assets, etc., all of which takes time. He intentionally disallowed that from happening. For the sake of making a video more exciting and more clickable for the Zoomer kids hoping to get rich someday off of him, he funneled this winner into a pathway of completely irresponsible decision making. And I think we need to acknowledge that when we're discussing the random yeah, people yeah, yeah. who go on these game shows trying to win it big. Anyway, reading on, next claim, quote, the train track was CGI, the bus wheels are CGI, the pit is fake. He acts like he's exposing us for using CGI to make backgrounds look cool when we have done multiple public behind the scenes videos with So Crispy showing this. It's clearly not a secret. On top of that, we did drive buses in that pit and same with the train that you claim we didn't, end quote. That part, in my opinion, is totally fine. I didn't raise that point in my own coverage because I think it's incredibly weak. Editing things so that the bus wheels look like they're spinning is relatively harmless. Yeah, and it doesn't like... strike me as a point that needed to be emphasized at all. Fair response, but not even one of the more important details. Reading on, the raccoon was a paid actor. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. Clearly not an actor, lol. End quote. That was, was a joke. A joke. The was guy joke. was making a joke? Responding to the joke as if it's serious is the hallmark of someone who actually can't respond to any substance. I'm sensing Damn. a pattern here. Bad luck. And, and Chucky is somebody that was in the Call of Duty zombie scene, right? Like I used to make Black Ops 3 zombies videos uh, back in the days, right? So I know Chucky, right? So he went from that to work with Mr. B. So he's very well aware of sarcasm. So for him to actually say that, that's like pathetic, bro. Like he was just making a joke. It was very clear it was a joke. And you responded to a joke that way. Uh, yeah, right, like, come on, man. Look, quote, island costs more than a dollar. Not true, we did pay $1 for this island. You can Google Mr. Beast purchases Outer Banks Island for $1, which stated this before the video was released, end quote. Okay, I, I give you $2 then. I give you $2, buy me that island. Buy me that island, buy me that island. Yes, fact check, true. The island was sold for a dollar, with $27 in other taxes and fees afterwards, but that same island is now being leased back to the original owners? There Not sure go. what to make of it, but fine. Island got there sold for a dollar as a gimmick. He's doing all right so far. Not the worst response ever, but he's not responding to anything of substance at all. Quote, he moved into a mansion two months before being in a video, a million dollar mansion. He talks about how two months before we filmed the first Mac video that he moved into a mansion, Mac was staying at a friend's house, and I'm not sure how that proves anything or why it's relevant, end quote. Mm -mm. That's not even a response, that's worthless, but also the initial claim is somewhat irrelevant as well, because this whole who works on the team and when storyline just doesn't matter. It's not hard hitting. Moving on. Quote, this wink was added in post. Bruh, he really did wink. This is a flat out lie again. End quote. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Not a good look if the wink is real and it's one of the things he's claiming was added in post, if that's just a factual discrepancy there. Again, not good, but none of this matters. Chucky is picking around the edges. He's not even pretending to address a single thing that matters. Down below, here he goes again, hyperfixating on stuff that means absolutely nothing. I'm actually going to skip this because it's a waste of mine and everyone else's time. But then finally, Chucky says something that matters about something that matters and completely blows up his own response. Quote, <laughs> not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. He claims our 100 boys versus 100 girls video is scripted and the proof is a random text saying it is, that's it. It was not scripted. Jimmy probably had countless people on set for that video and it would have been impossible to hide. This video was not scripted. I was on set for this and there was no bias for who won. He also implies the video is fake because we have some employees on each team. 
The employees in the video were there to fill in for people who tested positive for COVID last minute right before filming. Thea, Jimmy's girlfriend, mentioned this on a podcast over a year ago. If it wasn't for COVID, they would have not been in it. Okay. They had the okay. same dollars on the line as everyone else. Some random text of someone thinking it was rigged doesn't mean it's rigged, LOL, end quote. There it is, right there. He completely destroys his own response and let's showcase precisely why. Uh, yeah, he added his girlfriend, right? And yeah, uh, he says that it was not rigged, but then adds the girlfriend and says that too in the video. But, but he explains the reason for it, I guess. There is no bias for who won. Wrong. Chucky, you are wrong. This is a lie. During that challenge, there was a twist where whichever team could solve 100 Rubik's Cubes first would be fine, but the loser would have their circle that they had to stay inside cut in half, directly influencing their ability to win the challenge overall. You can quibble about how much that change impacted their ability to win overall, a little bit or a lot. Uh, okay, if I'm not mistaken, I remember like watching this video. I, I did see this video, but a, a long time ago. I mean, it was uploaded two years ago. What did he do ex exactly? Not, but it did impact them. During that Rubik's Cube event, let's call it, Mr. Beast identified publicly that there was just one boy and one girl able to solve the cubes. He makes a whole big deal out of it, actually. But then, again, right in the video, he says, we're gonna make things interesting and offer the one guy in there who knows how to solve them $10,000 to leave the video. Uh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Yeah, this one, right? Like, so he was uh, trying to uh, bribe uh, people. Uh, yeah, he was trying to bribe uh, the boys to leave. So he was trying to, there was a bias, there was a bias uh, because uh, they didn't want like girls losing badly. And I know the numbers here, it says, it's the number shows it's not like the girls were losing badly, but from what we're told, the number was also added it out, right? So the girls were losing very, very badly in that versus the boys team. And uh, yeah, and ultimately they were bribing the boys. <laughs> and my guy in the back like, oh, give me, give me, puppy, puppy, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, can our brother get two pennies? Yo, hashtag two penny gang, rise up. Which he does. The boy leaves, the team is then quite obviously unable to continue competing in that event with any real chance of completing it. And Mr. Beast goes across to the girls team and says quote i paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave now Damn. if you don't win that was all for nothing so win for me that's called bias chucky you fucking moron <laughs> also wonderfully enough it's a violation Holy. of 47 usc 509 which states it shall be unlawful by means of persuasion bribery intimidation or otherwise to induce or cause any contestant in a purportedly bona fide contest of intellectual knowledge or intellectual skill to refrain in any manner from using or displaying his knowledge or skill in such contest whereby the outcome thereof will be in whole or in part prearranged or predetermined end quote and the girls did win the overall challenge meaning that the only real question is whether or not the world's largest YouTube channel with hundreds no. of millions of followers and views is governed by broadcasting laws or if they are somehow immune to the That is crazy, man. Like, you faked the entire thing, bro. Like, shame on you, dog. <laughs> you, you, yeah, why? why? Uh, man, like, come on, bro. Just so, like, the strong independent females would win listen man i love the i love the females out there man shout out to the queens out there but like damn man like th this is just pathetic bro uh, at the same time you're saying that females cannot win this is why we gotta fake it that's the that's the message you're sending right now mr beast governing regulations of game shows traditional game shows despite having a larger audience and higher prize money than any other similar program to be fair that question can actually be debated heavily but what can't be debated is the fact that Mr. Beast directly influenced the challenge and the winning team in a biased way openly, which in part affected the results. Point blank, period, Chucky. Crazy. The rest of the response is more useless garbage. He doesn't even make a passing attempt at refuting anything of substance. And the entire thing boils down to a simplified claim that the other guy is lying. Mr. Beast hasn't done anything <laughs> wrong. But from where I sit, this is a pretty stunning example of someone doing things wrong that are predatory and unethical. And, and if I'm not mistaken, like, we saw the video, right? And Mr. Beast was saying inaccurate or incorrect. He responded just by saying incorrect, inaccurate. That's it. Like, yeah, he lying, guys. He lying. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and in the same breath, Yusuke has removed that video too, right? Yusuke has went crazy. Yusuke has uh, removed that live stream uh, where you were doing giveaways, right? Which is considered uh, illegal by the law as the metaphorical levy breaks and the world kind of wakes up to the fact of who they are and what they do. Actually, the final outro is worth reading and it goes like this, quote, Jimmy spends unfathomable amounts of money and time to ensure the integrity of what he does. And I hate to see it come into question with a bunch of lies. Dawson, if you leave this up, then you're a hypocrite, end quote. Damn. But from where I sit- uh, I mean, he's leaving it up, man. He's leaving it up.
He's leaving it up. It's that now you suckers are sending him cease and desist. He's leaving it up, man. It's you suckers that are trying to bring a man down like that, bro. Damn, bro. It is painfully clear that Mr. Beast's competitions have zero integrity. He openly manipulates the results in a multitude of ways. There's many, many more examples. I told some of them in the prior video, which again is linked down below. But yeah, there's a bunch of examples. This debunking- I, I do want to- but here's the thing though, I want to be fair, I want to hear Mr. Beast's side. Absolutely, Mr. Beast should come out and respond to it. I don't know if he's gonna respond. One thing that I don't like in this one, guys, is that, uh, uh, of course, Chucky response is bad. But the thing that I don't like here is that if you respond, you lose. If you don't respond, you lose as well. But I guess it depends on the response, right? I guess if you take accountability and you try to be truthful about it, you're still gonna lose. But I guess it's not gonna be so bad after all. If you re responded honestly and uh, truthfully, I guess uh, people that want to forgive you will forgive you, and people that want to hate you will hate you, and uh, that's it. But I guess you will still earn a little bit of respect uh, from people, whether they don't like you. Those people will still give you a little bit of respect for you being truthful and honest about it afterward, right? So yeah, I feel like the Mr. Beast should come out because this drama has gone nuclear. Like, Sickers are making YouTube videos. Everybody's making Everybody's covering it. Because he's the biggest YouTuber and this drama is insane. So of course everybody's gonna cover the story. And everybody is. Like, smaller channels pulling millions of views covering this story because it's Mr. Beast, right? It's Mr. Beast. Let me know your thoughts on the story, guys. Check out this video on the screen. This is what happened to Moist Critical and Dr. Disrespect. Both of them responded. I'm not sure if you guys actually saw this or not. If you didn't, if you didn't see it, check it out. If you saw it, then check out the video on the left.